もともとはあの SNS、Twitter でいろいろラテアートをしていたんですけどそれで、まあ、あのレストランの方で働く中で 3D ラテアートっていうのを途中で思いつきましてでそれが、まあ、あの日本で世界で初めてだってことで、えー、世界中にちょっとその猫があのカップをまたがってお魚を取りに行ってるようなラテアートが世界中に拡散されてそこから、まあ、イベントに呼ばれたりとか。あの海外の方に仕事それで行ったりとかしてそういった中であの今のこのカフェのオーナーと出会って、えー、店長やってみないかということで今は原宿の方でカフェをやっております 3D ラテアートはあの泡のきめ細かさが結構も難しくてあと、まあ、牛乳の質だったり結構このバランスじゃないとうまく作れないっていうところがあるんですよ 3D ラテアートっていうそのもの自体が、まあ、3D ラテアートっていうことよりもやっぱりアイディアの結晶だと思うんですよね真似されたところでその 3D ラテアートは真似されるかもしれないけども僕自身は多分真似されないだろうなというかやっぱそういうところをどんどん、あのー、強みにしてやっていきたいなと思ってます僕にとってはまあ 3D ラテアートとは一瞬でなくなってしまうんですけどもその幸せの余韻はすごいゆっくりと残っていくものだと思っています。My name is Tim Klein. I make artwork by fitting together pieces from two or more different jigsaw puzzles to form a new image. I call this art form puzzle montage. The reason I'm able to do this is that most manufacturers of mass produced jigsaw puzzles tend to use the same identical cut pattern over and over for multiple different puzzles. So if I take two puzzles of the same size that were published by the same manufacturer within a few years of each other, there's a good chance they were cut with the same pattern. That means their pieces are interchangeable, so I can combine portions of those puzzles to make a strange new picture that the manufacturers themselves never imagined. I own hundreds of old puzzles that are waiting patiently in their boxes for a suitable mate to eventually appear. My name's Nathan Walsh. I'm a full-time painter. I live and work in a Welsh chapel where all the paintings are made. I live a quiet, uh, reserved life, which is quite a contrast to the sort of two or three trips I might make to New York a year. I find cities endlessly fascinating. I think they offer unlimited possibilities to, to make paintings. Um, I find them chaotic and painting is almost a way of trying to fix that chaos and present something new and unseen before. Each work 
attempts to extend my particular visual language. That might mean there are more time periods uh, concentrated within the work, the way the space is drawn out initially, or the way the paint is applied, the way the colour relationships are explored. Something has to be different from what we've done before. That's very important. I'm always trying to reach for something new and unexpected and attempting to push myself further and make something which is more, more exciting, more dynamic and a more coherent view of the modern city. Basically this project is drawing all of the UK cities. It's a mammoth challenge but it's something that I'm really excited about. I have almost uh, this experience with the city. Um, I've visited most cities of the UK and I found that I've always wanted to draw them so I've always had that kind of initial need to have this documented. Uh, what tends to happen is I'll, I'll visit the city and then I'll remember the buildings and then what tends to happen is, is that I'll, I'll start to photograph and I'll start to research the city, the history, um, as much aerial photography I can get, maps, I mean just so much information and then I'll start making trips and then I'll start with uh, the actual city centre and then start to slowly, uh, the city will slowly emerge and then it will start to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It first started when I was uh, probably about three. So my mum used to take me on bus routes because I was very fascinated as a child to be on top of a bus looking down. Uh, another thing that also used to happen is that I used to have ants and I was really fascinated with ants. I used to have an ant colony. It, it's almost what I'm doing now. It's this looking down and having this grand vista of being able to observe something in its full entirety. And I think that's probably the beginnings of it. When I go to a city, I always um, map it. And in mapping, what I would do is I'll basically take lots of phot photography. Um, I'll also run every day around the city, so I'm constantly getting familiar with it. I do have a lot of you know, dreams that I, I'm going there and I'm walking around. And then I have this almost kind of surreal situation when I'm there. That I'm actually there but I'm also up there as well where I'm actually looking down on myself and it's like almost being like Gulliver's Travels or God. It's a very strange experience sometimes you know when you're drawing aerial and you're actually on the ground floor perspective. My, my passion is cities and it would never stop within the UK. It's a global thing you know. Um, I would like, you know, in 50 years' time to say, drawn the world. That, that is the ultimate dream. And it, and it isn't impossible. So yeah, as big as it can be.